The U.S. has gained 387,000 managers, but lost almost 2 million clerical jobs since 2007, according to the data from Bureau of Labor Statistics. The Financial Times reports that rapid structural shifts in U.S. workforce may increase income inequality. The median household income has fallen 5.6% since June 2009 to 51,404. New computing technologies have limited the need for a number of bookkeepers, tellers, data entry keyers, file clerks, and typists. The number of retail cashiers has also dropped. Growth has occurred in skilled positions such as home health care aides, while production-based jobs have declined. Sales for the growing markets, however, are often lower than the jobs that have been dropped. An average clerical job salary in 2012 was 34410 while home health care aides averaged around $24,550. CNBC is reporting that corn prices have fallen 6.5% this week due to a government report that indicated higher corn supplies than the industry anticipated. The government's crop report noted nearly 400 million more bushels of corn than originally estimated. The fall in corn prices will be good for consumers who will eventually see lower prices at the grocery stores. Corn is used in multiple products and is a primary food for much of the livestock. In the past year, produce prices increased dramatically with the cost of grapes and lettuce rising 37%. Eggs are up 9% and oranges are up 17%. Ground beef has increased about 20% and chicken was up 7.5%. Beef and chicken prices will definitely benefit from the falling corn prices. The amount of acreage in the U.S. used for planting rice has decreased 28% from 2010, according to a report from the USDA. This year will have the lowest level of rice planting since 1987. The Wall Street Journal indicates that with fewer U.S. farmers planting rice, cereal makers like Kellogg's or candy makers like Mars will be forced to look elsewhere for supplies. U.S. rice prices have not kept up with corn and soybean prices, which broke records last year due to the drought. The U.S. ranked number 12 in the world for rice output, but the largest exporter in the Western Hemisphere. Corn has been more profitable for farmers and is much easier to grow. Reporting for Millionaire Corner, I'm Heather Kiley. Thanks for watching.